Have you ever stopped to think about what really happens in the moments before death? What could Padre Pio, one of the most venerated saints in the Catholic Church, teach us about this mysterious transition between life and eternity? Many people believe that the moment before death carries with it profound signs, divine warnings, and even a final opportunity for redemption. But how does this manifest itself? And did Padre Pio, with his extraordinary life of miracles and visions, experience something unique in these crucial minutes? Type the following in the comments. Padre Pio, give me wisdom. In this video, we will explore Padre Pio's accounts, prophecies, and mystical experiences about a person's final moments on Earth. You will discover that these last moments can reveal much more than we imagine. By understanding these signs, you will be able to find peace and better understand what to expect at the end of life. Don't forget to share this information with as many people in your family as possible. Stay with us until the end, because what Padre Pio shared about the minutes before death not only challenges our understanding of death, but also offers us a guide on how to prepare ourselves spiritually for this inevitable moment. If you are curious about what happens when life on Earth draws to a close and want to learn about the signs that may indicate an approaching death, this video is for you. Padre Pio's Visions of Death Padre Pio, known for his extraordinary gifts, was often graced with mystical visions that connected him with the spiritual realm. One of the most recurring themes in his visions was death and the moments leading up to it. For him, the end of life was not an end point, but a crucial transition in which the soul began its journey to the afterlife. His spiritual experiences revealed a profound understanding of what happens in the last moments before a person leaves this world. Padre Pio firmly believed that in the minutes before death, a kind of final revelation occurs for the soul. At that moment, according to him, the person would be confronted with their actions and life choices. This would be a moment of divine mercy, in which the soul, even in the face of its mistakes, could find forgiveness and peace. He used to describe this process as a kind of immediate judgment, in which the soul would have the opportunity to reconcile with God, if it so desired. In several of his visions, Padre Pio witnessed the presence of heavenly figures, such as angels and saints, who came to meet the soul in its final moments, he reported that these spiritual entities not only accompanied the person, but also offered comfort and peace during this transition. In addition, Padre Pio also spoke about the importance of prayers in the minutes before death. He believed that at that moment, prayers had a transformative power, capable of altering the destiny of the soul. He himself prayed intensely for those who were about to die, asking God to grant them a peaceful and blessed passage. Physical and Spiritual Signs Padre Pio believed that in the minutes before death, the body and spirit began to exhibit clear signs that the end of life was near. These signs, he said, were not only medical evidence, such as changes in breathing or heart rate, but also profound spiritual manifestations. He observed that while the physical body was preparing to cease its vital functions, the soul was already beginning its transition to the afterlife. Among the physical signs, Padre Pio mentioned the change in the rhythm of breathing, which became slower and deeper, almost like a sigh of the soul. The person's facial expression also changed, taking on a more serene appearance, as if at peace, or, in cases of spiritual torment, an expression of anguish. Padre Pio taught that these physical signs reflected the inner state of the soul and the way it was dealing with its imminent passing. In the spiritual realm, Padre Pio believed that often, in the moments before death, a person would begin to have visions of heavenly beings, such as angels or saints, who came to accompany them on this journey. He said that these visions brought consolation and hope, preparing the soul for the encounter with God. Example from Life 
One of the most moving examples involving Padre Pio happened with one of his devotees. In her last moments, while she was breathing with difficulty and her face looked distressed, Padre Pio was called to pray for her. Minutes after he began his prayers, the woman, who had previously shown signs of great suffering, relaxed her face and a slight smile appeared on her lips. Witnesses stated that while Padre Pio prayed, she seemed to have seen something comforting, perhaps a heavenly vision, before departing in peace. Listen to this warning that Padre Pio left for you. The world is facing great problems, people are dying, you cannot live for long without divine protection, you have to pray every day, otherwise your life will be at great risk. If you want protection for your life, you must download my ebook, The Power of Padre Pio. This ebook contains prayers for all moments. Today, if you want to lead a life of divine protection, click on the link in the first pinned comment and download the power of Padre Pio now. It has to be today, before the units run out. The Role of Guardian Angels Padre Pio always had a deep devotion to guardian angels, and this belief was a central part of his spiritual life. He believed that guardian angels play a crucial role, especially in the final moments of a person's life. According to him, these heavenly beings are sent by God to protect, guide, and comfort the soul, from birth until the moment of death. During this crucial transition, the role of guardian angels becomes even more evident, as they help the soul to detach itself from the body and find its way to the Creator. According to Padre Pio's teachings, the guardian angel not only protects the person throughout life, but also intercedes for them in the most difficult moments, especially in the last moments before death. These angels are responsible for bringing peace and serenity to the departing soul, ensuring that it does not face the process of transition alone. For Padre Pio, guardian angels were like guides who helped the soul to overcome the spiritual challenges that arise at this delicate time. Padre Pio also believed that guardian angels acted as divine messengers, often warning the person of their impending death. He said that in certain cases, the guardian angel could manifest himself in subtle ways, offering signs and sensations that would prepare the person for their departure. These signs could include a feeling of inexplicable comfort or even visions of heavenly lights. Padre Pio taught that these angels worked tirelessly to ensure that the soul was ready for the final encounter with God, assisting it in its spiritual preparation. Another interesting point in Padre Pio's doctrine is that guardian angels do not only act on an individual level. He believed that in the last minutes of life, the guardian angels of family and friends could also intercede. They would help calm the emotions of loved ones, allowing them to find comfort and acceptance in the grieving process. This broader view of the role of angels reinforces the idea that death is not a time of solitude, but rather an experience in which heaven and earth meet to provide comfort to both the departed soul and those left behind. Throughout his life, Padre Pio had several experiences with guardian angels, and these stories have inspired thousands of people to believe in the power of these heavenly messengers. He recounted how his own guardian angel often guided him in his spiritual decisions and helped him face life's challenges. This deep connection with guardian angels became a recurring theme in his letters and sermons, always emphasizing the importance of maintaining a close relationship with these beings of light. Life Story An inspiring story involving the role of guardian angels happened to a woman named Teresa, a devotee of Padre Pio who was in her final days of life. During her agony, Teresa reported seeing a bright light next to her bed, which she believed to be her guardian angel. She described the presence as reassuring and said she felt an indescribable peace, even in the midst of her pain. The final conflict, light and darkness. Padre Pio believed that in the minutes before death, 
an intense spiritual conflict occurs between the forces of light and darkness. For him, the soul of a person who is about to depart goes through a decisive battle in which angels and demons fight over the fate of that soul. This conflict is especially present in people who have lived their lives far from God or in a state of spiritual doubt. However, he also observed that even devout souls can face this struggle as evil tries in its last efforts to divert the person from the divine light. According to Padre Pio's accounts, this combat is not visible to the physical eyes, but its consequences can be felt in the form of anguish, fear, and, in some cases, disturbing visions. He stated that souls often experience great confusion, and it is at this moment that faith and prayer become essential. Padre Pio encouraged everyone to pray in the final moments of life as he believed that prayer was the greatest weapon against the forces of darkness. He also said that the presence of loved ones, praying and offering spiritual support, could tip the balance in favor of the light, giving the soul the strength it needs to resist the temptations of evil. The struggle between light and darkness, according to Padre Pio, represents the soul's final choice. Even in the final minutes, he believed that the soul had the power to choose God and find salvation, or to give in to the forces of darkness and turn away from redemption. This spiritual conflict reveals the importance of spiritual preparation throughout life, since a well-prepared soul, in communion with God, is better able to resist the temptations and attacks that may arise at this crucial moment. For Padre Pio, the support of guardian angels, prayers, and the Divine Presence were crucial in helping the soul overcome fear and find peace. He always taught that God, in His infinite mercy, extends His hand until the last moment of life, offering everyone the chance to choose light and salvation. Example from Life A touching example of how this conflict unfolds happened to a man named Giovanni, a former soldier who, after years of spiritual withdrawal, was in his final days. He suffered from a terminal illness and was frequently haunted by disturbing nightmares, reporting visions of shadows that surrounded him at night. Padre Pio was called to pray for him, and during the prayers, Giovanni reported that the shadows began to disappear, replaced by a soft light. In his last minutes of life, he said he felt a great peace, as if he were finally freeing himself from the darkness that tormented him. Giovanni died peacefully, embraced by divine light, after the spiritual intervention of Padre Pio. Testimonies of Miracles in the Final Minutes Padre Pio was known as a powerful intercessor, and many of the miracles attributed to him occurred in the final moments of his devotees' lives. For him, God's mercy had no limits, and even in the last minutes of life, the soul could still be reached by a divine miracle. Padre Pio believed that death was not a moment of despair, but rather an opportunity for the manifestation of divine grace in an extraordinary way. Several documented accounts and testimonies of people who were close to their loved ones in the last minutes of life claim to have witnessed clear signs of miracles after Padre Pio's prayers. These miracles range from sudden spiritual reconciliation to the emotional healing of people who were deeply distressed by the imminent departure. According to the saint, unwavering faith and sincere prayers, especially in the final moments, could transform the destiny of a soul. Padre Pio also taught that miracles were sometimes more subtle, manifesting as a profound peace that enveloped both the dying person and their family members. He believed that this peace was a sign of God's presence, assuring them that the person's soul was being guided toward the light. Often, people who were in agony in physical or spiritual pain would experience surprising relief after Padre Pio's intervention. This peace was not only an emotional comfort, but to him, tangible evidence that God was embracing that soul with love and compassion. 
Miracles in the final minutes of life were also seen as an opportunity for those who, for whatever reason, had not found the time to reconcile with God. Padre Pio believed that through divine intercession, these souls were given a last chance at redemption, something he considered the greatest of mercies. He encouraged family members to pray intensely at these times, stating that prayer had the power to open the heavens and bring divine intervention to those who were about to depart. Furthermore, many of Padre Pio's devotees reported heavenly visions in the final minutes of their loved ones' lives. These visions were often described as bright lights, the presence of saints or the Virgin Mary, or even the appearance of Padre Pio himself, who came to guide the soul on its path to God. These testimonies became a source of hope and comfort for many, reinforcing the idea that death, with divine intercession, could be a moment of redemption and peace. Example from Life One of the most impactful accounts involves a young woman named Maria, who was terminally ill, suffering from an illness that left her debilitated and in great pain. In her final days, Maria's family asked for Padre Pio's intercession. During a night of agony, the young woman reported seeing a luminous figure at her bedside. Convinced that it was Padre Pio, she began to pray, and to her family's surprise, her expression of pain turned to serenity. In her final minutes, Maria smiled and said that the pain had disappeared. Her family testified that after this experience, she passed away peacefully, without suffering. In the final moments of life, Padre Pio taught that spiritual preparation is as important as any other aspect of existence. For him, death should not be feared, but rather seen as a transition to an eternal life with God. His belief was that in the minutes before death, each person has the opportunity to experience divine mercy in a full and definitive way. Padre Pio emphasized that true preparation for this moment begins long before death arrives. Living a life of prayer, faith, and charity was, for him, the way to ensure a peaceful passing. He stated that the more a person was in communion with God during life, the more peaceful his death would be. But even for those who may have strayed from the spiritual path, Padre Pio taught that God always extends his hand until the last breath, offering a final chance for redemption. In addition, the saint always emphasized the fundamental role of prayer in a person's final moments. He believed that sincere prayers made by the departing soul, as well as by their family and friends, can open the doors of divine grace. For Padre Pio, prayer was a direct link between heaven and earth, capable of easing anguish, alleviating suffering and even bringing miracles in the final moments. He witnessed countless times the power of prayer in transforming the moment of death from a state of fear and uncertainty to an experience of peace and reconciliation with God. Another important aspect is the comfort that the presence of guardian angels can offer at this moment. Padre Pio taught that angels are always present to guide the soul and protect it from the forces of evil. They are faithful companions, sent by God, and in the minutes before death, their presence becomes even more evident. The certainty that one is not alone at this crucial moment is one of the greatest comforts a person can have, and, according to Padre Pio, this divine presence is guaranteed to those who trust in God. In the final moments, a kind of spiritual battle takes place between the forces of light and darkness. Even for souls who have lived a life far from God, there is always the opportunity to choose the path of light, of salvation. Padre Pio witnessed this battle on several occasions, and always emphasized that choosing the light is possible until the very last moment. For this reason, he insisted on the importance of faith and continuous prayer, not only in the final moments, but throughout one's entire life. Padre Pio's legacy teaches us that death, although a moment of great mystery, can also be a moment of grace and redemption. His teachings, filled with faith, love, and intercession, 
continue to inspire those who seek a deeper understanding of what happens in the last minutes of life. He leaves us the message that, regardless of how we live, there is always the possibility of reconciliation with God. Thus, spiritual preparation, prayers, and trust in divine intercession become the fundamental pillars to ensure that, when we reach the end of our earthly journey, we can find peace, comfort, and ultimately, eternal light. <laughs>